All right, I got one of these pool floaties and it's got a hole in it. So I want to try this repair adhesive product from Gear Aid. It's called Aqua Seal. It's supposed to work on nylon and um, fabrics and heavy fabrics, rubber and leather and plastic and vinyl. Never used it, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. So I've got some water with uh, bubbles in it. We're just going to spray it on and see if we can get some bubbles forming wherever the leak is occurring. There's one. There's one right there. Look at that. Saw the bubble grow. So there's at least one. So I'm going to remember that one. We're going to look for some more. As near as I can tell, I only have the one hole. That was the one right back. Right there. So I think this uh, this kind of thing would work with other products that are, you know, obviously more more of a pain to have to replace. See that bubble grow? I'm gonna rinse this soap off and let this thing dry out so we can fix it. Now that we've uh, found our hole, we've washed everything, let it dry. This Gear Aid Aqua Seal suggests. The, uh, first to prepare the surface. It says to kind of rough it up with some sandpaper. I don't know exactly how much I want to rough up this vinyl, because obviously I don't want to put holes in it, but we'll rough it up lightly. Oh, and hopefully this isn't a problem that I'm doing this while it's partially inflated. Um, thought it might be a little easier to work with that way and have my surface kind of stretched the way it normally is. And then it says take some isopropyl alcohol and use that to clean and buff the surface, whatever that means to buff it. Kind of dry that a little bit and then give it a couple minutes here to fully dry. The instructions on this for a pinhole leak in an inflatable like this say to extend, apply aqua seal to extend about one inch around the hole. So my hole's right there. So I gotta get this, you know, pretty good, pretty good circle there. Some of the pictures show using like a little brush to try and help spread it. And then we've got then we've got eight to twelve hours of dry time. I'm gonna puncture this thing and start putting it on. It's pretty goopy. It reminds me of kind of cold rubber cement. Might be a good way to describe it. So on the package it says to store, get the end of it, the tube cleaned up, really nice, and then actually store it in the freezer. And that's got some instructions to help uh, help warm it up when it comes time to use it next time. This stuff says to let it sit eight to 12 hours. So we got a little bit of waiting time here. The last thing, I'm really glad I had gloves on for working with this. It does say it'll come off your fingers. Uh, it'll take a few hours to kind of cure and come off, but uh, gloves sure make it easy. So right here is the patch, and it feels like this is definitely going to be airproof. Unfortunately, it seems that there's another hole elsewhere in this, because after filling this up and laying on it for a while, it deflated. Uh, we tend to use these as a camping mattress while we're camping, put on this sleeping bag. So lightweight and easy to carry, especially if you're backpacking or tight on space. I got a little bit of a little bit of soap on my hand here. I didn't have a spray bottle handy, but if there's any air coming out there, we ought to see some bubbles starting with all that soap. Yeah, there's definitely no air coming out of that spot. So wherever I still have a hole, it's another place I can keep finding it. But this looks like a great patch for uh, some vinyl. Works really well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer. Um, I'm putting it in a bag just so it doesn't accidentally get punctured or spill on anything. If you find this uh, helpful, I appreciate it if you buy the product through uh, through Amazon through one of the links I've got in the description below. Um, I did not get any, any compensation from Gear Aid. This is just a product I'm trying um, because, well, I had a problem and needed to fix it and it seemed like it, it uh, would do the trick. You're gonna go after it. Send a little bit of a, a commission through that affiliate link my way. We got a packed full freezer. We're gonna tuck this thing way at the back and 
and uh, hope I remember about it next time I can find it next time I've got a hole like that. Thanks so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. Like the video, subscribe, and have a great day.